<laughs> Give it another shot. Come on, Alice. Come on, Alice. <laughs> Hello YouTubers, this video is about how to find out the status of the battery on the board. Um, the normal method with these Chinese clone boards is to have a light on the hand controller. Um, that light signifies the status of the battery on the hand controller itself. This one signifies the status of the battery on the board. However, this is crude. Um, there's only three colours, um, green, amber and red, which doesn't give you much feedback at all. And if you remove the battery management system, you take that off um, away from the board and use it just for charging the board, um, you'll even lose that crude measure. So for example, if I turn the board on, that's the board switched on, and yet this will say red. Um, no matter what status of that battery, it always says red. Um, this is, as I said before, because there's a battery management system on the board itself. So because of the crude measurements, um, and the fact you lose even that, if you remove the BMS from the board, I bought myself one of these. It's a battery monitor, or a battery tester, or a charge indicator. There's various phrases for it. Um, it's cheap. I got this off eBay for £7.50. Um, to get this, um, search for lithium battery monitor LCD panel um, may be included in that search phrase 24 volts um, or 6S or 6 cell. You could well be presented with um, a few options um, depending if you're looking in eBay or on Google or whatever. Um, as long as you find something that's 6S or 6 cell compatible and can measure lithium ion batteries you should be good to go. Fitting this, um, it's not difficult, um, the resistance across it is nearly infinite so don't worry about any current draw problems um, as for wiring it in. Um, just uh, connect it to the main power leads from the battery to the speed controller, um, preferably after a switch if you have a switch on your board. Um, this is my test board, I have no switch and it's all very crude so I literally just inserted the wires into the Dean's connector. Obviously this is not how I would do it normally, this is to show you it's working. There are various versions of this, um, some are specific uh, for 6 cell batteries, some aren't, this one isn't. Um, as a result you have to program it, um, that sounds like quite a task, um, it's simple really. On the rear, you have two switches. You see them there, uh, up and down, for scrolling through options. To program it, you hold down the down button, then um, power it up. Um, I just disconnected that, held the down button at the rear, then reconnected it. And that will show you various options. The options represent a code. Um, each entry in the code um, refers to a particular configuration of batteries. Um, in our case, we have a six cell lithium battery, so we're looking for LI6. I'll just scroll through this and you can pause it if you want to have a look at it. It's very difficult showing you how to do this with just one hand, so I've not shown you um, me connecting it. Um, but this is after that. Um, I have the down button held and you can see my previous selection of LI6. I can scroll through and show you some other options. Take my finger off the back, let's go up. LI7, LI8, etc. And there's loads. Um, let's come back down again. So we want LI6. And to select it, you just um, depower it, repower it, in other words just disconnect it and connect it. 
I'll be back after that. So that's how you program it. Easy job. So I've showed you how to um, wire it in. I've shown you how to program it. The last thing is how to fit it, which I can't show you properly because this is my test board. I'm not going to fit it. But if I were to, what I would do is just Dremel a um, rectangular hole in this casing. And this is easily cut, this stuff. Um, it's quite forgiving, the battery monitor, because the panel or fascia around the edge of the um, LCD screen is quite large. So you've got a lot of room for maneuvering. And you've also got two holes there for screws or nuts and bolts. So yeah, I would Dremel, a square hole, mount that from the inside and have um, nuts and bolts go through there. One thing to keep in mind if you do mount that behind the um, casing, do drill a hole to reveal that button because that's the white button. I still haven't decided on the final design for my Chinese clone board. If it's going to have two wheel drive, one wheel drive, what speed controller, um, if it's going to have replaceable batteries, um, or indeed completely different batteries. Um, but what I do know is I'm definitely going to have this on board. It's far too useful not to have it. So anyway, um, until next time, bye for now.